Do a dirty melee right here. Yeah, I know. Like you're thinking, well, you should have been falling back, but I just want to inflict as much damage on some of the squads as possible, so it's not a so it's not a constant back and forth route. I did inflict quite a bit of losses there. I mean, I forced his ravagers back. I forced his warriors back. I refuse to yield the field to him, and his former guns just get melted away by the Bile Spewer. He is now yeah. on his own. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was actually a good thing that I stuck it out, even though I took a few casualties, but I didn't lose anybody. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised in that. I mean, you were really overexposed. I mean, you did a really good opening barrage, but I thought the Nid would have you, but surprisingly, you came out of that ahead. The Nid really took a lot of heavy losses, especially his Warriors and Ravenous. I he lost pretty much all of his gaunt force as well. Well, you managed to retain your cultists, so looking good. Yeah, now I'm gonna burn his generators down, or rather, rot them down. Squish. There goes one. Going for two. But here comes the Tyranid forces rallying back again for another push. Heretics going down, and I have to rot them back. All in my face. My habits are not there. I'm just focusing mostly on the generator harassment because I know with those generators out of action, I will really put him behind. So I made that my main mission. And it's like, oh, I've got to destroy those generators. Even if I lose center for the moment, I've got to break those. Yep. Well done. Although it is about to hit tier two, and you haven't even started yours yet. You've got the resources. Oh, here we go. Yeah, now I just did. So he is going to have a bit of a tech advantage, but you really did beat him economically in that late tier one burst, especially burning out those gens. Well, yeah, I think what happened. You've also managed to counter harass and cap back a lot of the map too, which is good work. Yeah, yeah. And of course, he's neutralized a VP. So now VPs are currently 427 me, 339 him. And oh wow. That Termagant's caught out in the open against a barrage of grenade launchers. Decimates the squad. He's has to force them back quick. And the Raveners are still in a bad shape from the previous battle. He has to pull them back as soon as I make a comeback. I mean, that's the great thing about being a plague champion is the fact that, you know, with worship combined with the healing of your HQ, you can really bounce back from withdrawing. And that's what I, you know, I, I'm all about healing. I like, I like that. So, I like having staying power on my units. Looks like the ninja's rolled out a tyrant guard. Oh, yes. Here it comes. I was expecting him. As soon as I saw him bring out a tyrant guard, I'm going... Well, I'm pretty close to a blood pressure, so I better pull that out. And of course, Warriors and Ravagers attacking my front line. And as soon as he sees the Havocs, what's he going to do? Burrow underneath and hit them. I know he knew he was going to do that. I dropped, tried to drop some sludge on the Warriors to slow him down. Only slowed down one. And I'm trying to stay the field as much as I can. But uh, Michael's kind of going a little bit to hell now. Uh, Havocs nearly by the farm. Way too close on the retreat on that. Uh, Heretics, I don't think are going to be able to get out of that. They, away with no, health. they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. It's just like there's just nothing I could have done like when they have all those melee guys in the way. But uh, I still haven't completely yielded the field to him yet. I'm still trying to inflict as much damage on his mass of troops as possible. Dropping more vile again and retreating behind this wall of sledge. And here comes the blood pressure to try and save the day. At least do something. I really wouldn't send that Blood Crusher out alone. He is tanked, but he's not that tank, and he has a Tyrant Guard there to counter you. So I know, that's pull why back, I man. Yeah, that's why I decided to pull him back right there. Okay, I need to pull him, like, pull him back into the machine gun. That's, or, you know, pull him back into the Heavy Bolter. That's going to knock the Warriors away. Now I'm focused firing on the Hive Tyrant to force him back. So now it's just turning into a one-on-one -on -one fight between the Blood Crusher and the Tyrant Guard. I have the heavy bolter focusing on the turbo gun, suppressing them, but of course I lose the blood crusher because I didn't pull him back. I wasn't paying attention to his HP, but the tyrant guard was also so heavily weakened I was able to kill him with Zenshin bolters. 
So I, I figured it was an acceptable loss. And I was going, okay, go back to harass the generators again. Yep, stable. I probably would have got the tax to cap middle and then sent the plague champion. Yeah, to I know. Harass. I should have. I definitely should have done that. Also, the Tyranid player has got his Ravenous sitting out to the far left. He's not actually doing anything with them. He appears to have forgotten them. <laughs> Oops. Oh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a misclick and sent them to cap, but didn't. Well, now he, now he remembers. <laughs> Uh, wow, he's just sitting there ready for, ready for an attack. I know I have to bring out a unit that can just end this right now. But, you know, otherwise, once again, going for the gen harassment now. Uh, capping right-hand side. And here comes the spew. And here comes the Tyrion in force in center. Try to retake it again. He's got adrenal glands this time, so this is going to be quite painful in melee. Oh, yeah. And I just... I just quickly route right then and there, I'm not gonna hold it. Smart move. We will revel later to battle. Yeah, and you got the gen farm down again, so good work. Yeah, uh, I was really putting the VP hurts on him too. I mean the it's three ninety to two eighty three now, so he's definitely under a lot of pressure at this point. Uh Tomagon's taking fire from grenade launches again. Jeez, that's just so devastating to Tier into tier one. I mean, it's even worse on orcs. Ooh, dead revener from the chaos tacticals. Yeah, now they're getting even more upgraded because now I'm getting the heavy mech out. So now I'm gonna be able to now I'm gonna focus on upgrading the rest of the squads, turning him into a melee unit so he can just be utterly ruthless on the mass of tyranids. Oh, and look at this, dropping warriors on top of me. I think, huh, that's just where I wanted you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, engaging my front line, that's one dead bug. I dropped uh, a noxious cloud to try and inflict some extra damage, but he pulled back too quick, so I was like, oh, it was mm. kind of a waste. On the other hand, he did try to charge your front line, which happens to be just outside your base, so he was going to lose that regardless. Oh yeah. Not a smart move from the nid. You think it would have been better or worse if you had put your uh, Havocs inside that civilian structure to the right of your base? Um, debatable really. I mean, it would have probably narrowed your firing arc quite a lot. It might have given them a bit of safety from melee charge, but they did pretty well the way it was. I mean, he dropped his warriors in in front of your Havocs as opposed to behind them. Yeah, now I got my huge uh, Dreadnought bodyguard there to protect me from this massive swarm. Here they come. Cut him upgrading all these warriors with uh, claws for anti-tank. But once you set that Dreadnought into Berserk mode, I mean, he can take so much damage and deal so much damage. He becomes... And you just throw him in the midst of a massive horde like this, and he just goes nuts. Oh, and yeah, I popped uh, Undeath there, or I, I forget what that ability is called, but you know, it raises their dead as undead, but uh, it was kind of a waste. I was just like, oh, because he retreated so fast and I wasn't able to kill enough. So it made no look a difference. I was like, damn it. As nasty as it sounds, you probably could have thrown that Dreadnought straight into his base there and just kept sin killing his warriors all day. Uh, I didn't want to risk it. Because he doesn't it. have any proper AV. I know, I know. I just didn't want to risk it. Uh, because you never know when they have some sort of trump card. Or something else. Yes, but you're Chaos. Yes, and I'm overpowered. Apparently. Yes! <laughs> Uh, and it still doesn't have his power farm back up. He's trying to build some Venom Brood right now, which he really should have had a bit earlier. That would have helped him out immensely versus that Dreadnought. Well, yeah, he's definitely spent way too much into the Warriors, like, upgrading them with uh, the ability to break armor. It's just, uh, but against the Dreadnought, that just doesn't work. Well, not the Adrenal Glands are good, but they're not that good. 